Social representation theory. Social representation theory is a sociological and psychological framework that seeks to understand how individuals and groups make sense of and communicate about social phenomena. Developed by Serge Moscovici, this theory suggests that people create shared social representations, which are shared beliefs, knowledge, and understandings about the social world. These representations serve as cognitive frameworks that help individuals interpret and respond to social situations, allowing for a shared understanding among group members. At the core of social representation theory is the concept of anchoring and objectification. Anchoring refers to the process through which abstract and complex social concepts are linked to more familiar and concrete symbols, images, or ideas. This allows individuals to grasp and communicate about these concepts in a more accessible and meaningful way. Objectification involves transforming abstract ideas into tangible and visible forms, enabling individuals to make sense of and communicate about these ideas more effectively. Social representations are shaped and constructed through social interaction, communication, and cultural context. They are influenced by various factors such as language, cultural norms, values, and social norms. Through the process of socialization, individuals acquire and internalize shared social representations which guide their thoughts, perceptions, and behaviors in social contexts. These representations help individuals understand and navigate complex social phenomena such as gender, race, power, and social roles. Examples of social representation theory can be observed in various social contexts. For instance, the concept of family carries different meanings and expectations across cultures and societies. In some cultures, family may be represented as a nuclear unit consisting of parents and children, while in others, it may extend to include extended family members. These social representations shape individuals' understanding of family, their roles within it, and their expectations for family relationships. Another example is the social representation of leadership. Different societies and groups may have distinct ideas and expectations about what constitutes effective leadership. These representations influence individuals' perceptions of leadership qualities, behaviors, and the criteria they use to evaluate leaders. Social representations of leadership can vary based on cultural, historical, and contextual factors. Social representation theory highlights the dynamic and contextual nature of social knowledge and meaning construction. It emphasizes the role of communication, shared symbols, and social interaction in the formation and transmission of social representations. By studying social representations, researchers can gain insights into how individuals and groups make sense of the social world, negotiate meanings, and construct shared understandings. In conclusion, social representation theory explores how individuals and groups create shared beliefs and knowledge about the social world. It emphasizes the processes of anchoring and objectification, whereby abstract concepts are linked to concrete symbols and made accessible for communication and understanding. Social representations are shaped by social interaction, cultural context, and language, and they guide individuals' thoughts, perceptions, and behaviors in social contexts. By studying social representations, researchers can gain a deeper understanding of how individuals and groups make sense of social phenomena and contribute to the construction of shared meanings in society.